Blessed are those who trust in the Lord, whose trust is the Lord. They shall be like a tree planted by water, sending out its roots by the stream. It shall not fear when heat comes, and its leaves shall stay green. In the year of drought, it is not anxious, and it does not cease to bear fruit. What grabs me first is the last couplet, the condition and disposition of the tree. The condition and disposition of the tree. It shall not fear when heat comes, and its leaves shall stay green. In the year of drought, it is not anxious, and it does not cease to bear fruit. No fear, no anxiety. Now, now, now this is not a dismissal of the very real concerns we may have about things that are worth being concerned about. Instead, Jeremiah is describing a deep-seated confidence in the love of God even in the face of circumstances that may challenge that. It's a, it's a belief, it's a trust that our gracious God is at work turning all things to our good, even if we don't yet know how. It's a faith that the Spirit can redeem and restore anything, even if we don't have the imagination to see it ourselves. Friends, heat and drought will come this year. No tree is spared trial, opposition, challenge, adverse environments. Just think back over 2022. Think about the things you would have preferred not to have experienced, the things that caught you off guard in a bad way. Disappointment at work or at school. A devastating health diagnosis or a an unsuccessful treatment, a failed or failing relationship or marriage, a continued waiting for something that you felt God promised to come through on. A strain beyond stretching, beyond what you felt you could handle, whether that was spiritual or emotional or relational. Heat and drought came last year, and heat and drought will come this year. In this world, you will have trouble, said Jesus. Living well, truly living, living to the full, as Jesus would describe it, has Well, it's been a challenge for every people, in every place, and in every day and every age, and it is no different for us. If it were not, more people would be doing it, living well, showcasing love and care and compassion. More unjust systems and structures would be broken. There would be less injustice and inequity. There would be less generational cycles of brokenness and trauma. Sometimes it seems as though the default environment we inhabit is heat and drought. And yet what is promised here is flourishing. Not just making it through, not just keeping your head above water, not just scraping by, not just surviving. Green leaves in the heat, bearing fruit in a drought, thriving against the odds, flourishing when flourishing doesn't seem likely or even possible. the promise. But let me clarify, the promise is not a conditional promise. It's a promise that is a description of reality. Blessed are those who trust in the Lord, just like those who get in the water are wet, just like those who stand close to the sun are hot. Those who trust in the Lord are blessed. It is a description of reality. Just as Jesus would say in the Sermon on the Mount, blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. They are already blessed because of the nearness of God to those who are humble, to those who are lowly, to those in need, to those who are vulnerable. And those who trust in God are already close to God. They are blessed. They can stand the heat. They can flourish in drought. Blessed are those who trust in the Lord, whose trust is the Lord. They shall be like a tree planted by water. You know that word plant can also be translated as transplant. In other words, it is not just the trees who were planted by the water as seeds, the one who well, the ones who've who've always been there, the ones who by luck of the draw ended up in good soil. Those who trust in the Lord are like those 
transplanted by the water. In other words, it is never too late to be repotted and relocated and replanted. It is never too late to trust in the Lord, to put your trust in the Lord with, with your life, with your soul, with our world. 